So, what's up guys, and thanks for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Descarender. So yeah, I have the same team, this is like the mixed tier team, and I did ask for a battle a few days ago, and I got a few good ones, so I'm gonna upload a few of them. And, uh, you know, when I say mixed tier, I'm kinda, you know, hoping that the person bringing only like a few OU, maybe mostly UU and lesser tier, uh, I just facepalm when I go when this this guy yellow. Uh, he's from Twitter. Uh, by the way, if you yellow have any uh, YouTube channel, make sure to say that so I can link you down below. But other than that, um, just looking at his team, yeah, this is a standard OU team. So I was definitely like, oh no, I have no real chance in hell here. I knew right away that he has a very very hyper offensive team, and I should keep that in mind. So I actually need to try to outdo him in that with my previous team that I've been using. Which is the Salamans, Electivire, Standland, um, Gigalith, Reunicless, and uh, Hippodorn. So anyway, I was pretty sure I was going to either start with Rodum or um, his Breloom. That would, if that's the case, then Breloom is most likely sashed. So I just thought, you know what, I might as well bring Salamans to get an Intimidate off. Hopefully, uh, he started with the Breloom. In worst case scenario, I can just you know switch out if the Rodum is the case. So you guys like to see how that turned out. So yeah, I was like really really lucky here. He did actually start off with Breloom. And I kind of feared the Charizard too, because it could be the Charizard Y. It looks like it complements his team best, so I was pretty sure it was going to be Charizard Y. So I get the Intimidate off. Um, he actually decided to withdraw right away to Rotom. I just went for Dragon Pulse, because this is my special set, uh, defensive set, Solomon. It's more of a um, gimmick and just a um, surprise to say the least. It works semi well, because people don't expect it. And this is a crit chaos, I'm just gonna go for that. But he has Pain Slit. I did not expect that. I went right into that. Easily taking 40% of my HP. Plus, you get leftovers. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna switch into his Chansey now. So I'm actually gonna switch out. A good prediction on my part here, because I knew that he wouldn't stay in and go for a Hydro Pump or anything like that. And I will see this as a key opportunity to get off my rocks, because I need rocks against the Charizard. And I need to keep him, well, I need to keep it around, really. I don't have any spin blocker, but I don't feel that I need it because Stealth Rock is my like only hazard move, so I don't really have to um, invest too much in it. So uh, after this, I was actually gonna think that he would like to switch out. He did not he set up his own Stealth Rock, so I go for raw, pretty much screw myself over here because Brelum is coming in. And well, I was kind of hoping that he will go for a bullet seed here. Uh, the flash is obviously gone now that the both Stealth Rocks and Sand is. Uh, you the way here and uh, well let's just say that he predicted me really good here and went for a rock tomb and even with intimidate off I'm still not able to take a rock tomb and it really really sucked because my Salamence is scarfed so it's good to you know revenge kill in late game and Sal I didn't get to showcase that at all here so Salamence die yet again but here's Fulfi, my <laughs> Stoutland, I was gonna say Gramble. Uh, just gonna go for Retaliate, and look at this, this is beautiful. Finish. Yeah, I like this set. People don't expect it, or even if they do, they have a hard time trying to wall that. Obviously the sand is gone, there's no reason for me to stay in. A Mach Phantom will not take me out, but I really don't feel I want to just take a chance on it. So I'm just gonna bring Crumbie in case it goes for a Spore. I was kind of hoping we'd just go for a spore. He goes right for the mock punch here. Doesn't do anything. I know I can take at least three bullet siege. So I'm gonna hope that he get a low damage roll here, because I have nothing on my team anymore that want to take a bullet seed now that my Salamence is gone. So we got one. We got two. We got three. <laughs> Damn it. So yeah, obviously here I need to bring in my Stoutland here, actually yet again because now it pretty much needs to sweep because it only functions properly in the sand obviously and yeah I'm just gonna go for retaliate I know I can take a mock punch Ish. <laughs> but yeah that, that was barely he actually got a high damage roll there my stout is the investing in defense and even with technician I should actually be able to live with around 30 HP so I didn't expect that at all actually so I'm gonna bring my guild here you guys know my guild is somewhat it is assault vested heavily especially defensive uh, he's gonna go for rapid spin here while I just go for a superpower. And let's tell you guys this. 
Superpower is more than enough to finish this guy. I I like Gigalith so much. It's such an underappreciated Pokemon too because it actually works really well in Sand. Plus you got that like very very high attack there with 130 base. It is it is a boss really. So I did expect him here to go for um, Short and Sword Y here, and uh, well let's just say I kind of screwed it over here. This is Short and Sword X. And uh, I was actually intent to go for a Volt Switch taking it out in that case, but they actually go for Dragon Dance, so I know Earthquake is coming my way. I don't see any reason to um, try to switch out, but rather bring my re uh, Reuniclus that is defensive with uh, 252 HP and 252 defense to set up a Magic uh, magic Room or a Trick Room. Uh, because if I can survive this level, it's, which, which is very likely actually, uh, I did a Calx here, just so you guys will see that this Flare Blitz will sadly take me out and um, he actually got a high damage roll here I actually had a decent chance of surviving had I done that I might actually have been able to win this game sadly I am not because with that uh, Dragon Dance up uh, his Earthquake will do more than enough to actually take out my Gigalith had I uh, got that Magic Room or um, Magic... Oh, why did I say Magic Room? had I got that Trick Room up I would have actually have won because Rock Slide is easily a Oko on the Charizard. Uh, the two poses I left after that was both Reninja and uh, Shansi. And none of them would have taken a superpower, even though it was reduced from the first time. Both would be an Oko because of Gigalith's high attack power. Um, looking back at this battle, I should actually play them much cooler and stayed in against the Charizard because while I was going for a sure, um, while I was going for a Dragon Dance, if I was stayed in and gone for Rock Slide, I would actually have a pretty decent chance of taking it out. I would actually have been around the 90 to 102 range of taking it out, so yeah. It really sucks that I didn't do that, but you know, you kind of have to accept this. I mean, I, I like this battle a lot because I felt like I'd have an honest chance against an OU team. And yeah, this was only 16 turns long, so very fast paced battle, and I think we both predicted each other really well. And it became an interesting battle because of it, so yeah. Thank you everybody for watching, um, you know, I really like the support, so don't forget to leave a like and stuff like that, you know, I love it. And other than that, you know, until next time guys, alright, and have a good day, alright, bye.